anatomy of the foot. Let us begin by looking at the anatomy of the foot and its makeup. The feet are a very complex part of the body. If we look closely, we see that the feet are made up of many different bones, with nearly one quarter of the bones in your body found in your foot. They also has over a hundred muscles in the foot and ankle alone, making it a very important part of our structural makeup. The foot is made up of 28 bones, 30 joints, and over a hundred muscles, tendons, and ligaments. These all work together to help us to walk, to run, to turn, to jump, to stand, and to move. The foot is divided into three sections. The hind foot, the midfoot, and the forefoot. The hind foot is found at the back of the foot, which forms the heel and ankle. The midfoot is a pyramid-like collection of bones found in the middle of the foot. This forms the arches of the foot. And the forefoot is the front section of the foot, where the toes begin. The bones of the foot. There are 28 bones of the foot. This includes the following. Tarsals, metatarsals, phalange bones, sesamoid bones, and the talus bone. The tarsal bones are the bones found near the ankle, the hind foot. It is made up of seven bones. These are the talus, the calcaneus, the cuboid, navicular, and three cuneiform bones. It is also part of the middle of the foot where they form the arch. This helps to give the foot its strength and also gives it its mobility. It acts like a lever. The talus bone is found on the top of the foot. This forms a joint with the tibia and fibula. The talus is divided into three parts. The taller body, the neck and head. The body is square in shape with a dome on top. This connects the lower leg at the ankle joint. The calcaneus is known as the heel bone and is the largest bone of the body. It lies underneath the talus to form the heel bone and together with the talus, it creates the hind foot. The metal tarsal bones are found between the tarsal and phalange bones. These are also found in the bones of the hand. However, these bones are larger in the foot. Each foot contains five metatarsals. The first three are more rigid and held in place. The phalanges are the toe bones. There are 14 phalange bones that make up the toes in each foot. Like the fingers, there are three phalanges in each toe except the big toe. This first toe is known as the great toe or hallux and has only two phalanges. The big toe only has a proximal and distal phalanx. The four other toes on each foot are made up of the proximal, middle and distal phalanges. There are also two small sesamoid bones found on the ball of the foot. These are two small P-shaped bones that are found underneath the head of the first metatarsal. Joints of the feet. 
Next, we look at the joints of the foot. There are 33 joints of the feet. A joint is formed when two or more bones meet. This then forms a joint. Some of the joints are mobile and are called essential joints. There are other joints that have moderate mobility. Then there are joints that are held tightly together with strong ligaments. These are called non-mobile joints. There are 33 joints of the foot. The main joints are the joints of the toes, the talocrural joint, the ankle joint, the subtalar joint, the mid tarsal and Liz Frank joint. Joints of the toes. Each toe is made out of three joints, except for the big toe, which only has two. These are the metatarsal phalangeal joints, the MPC, which is the joint found at the base of the toe, the proximal interphalangeal joint, the PRP, is found in the middle of the toe. The distal phalangeal joint, the DP, this is the joint found at the tip of the toe. The ankle joint. The ankle joint is also known as a talocrural joint. It is the joint that connects the tibia and fibula to the talus of the foot. This joint is a hinge joint, which allows the foot to move up and down, much like that as the opening and closing of a door. With dorsiflexion, doing the upward movement, and plantar flexion, the downward movement. Ligaments of the foot. Ligaments are strong bands of tissue that connects bone to your foot. Think of it like a cord-like rope that is connecting one bone to another. They connect the bones to other bones to form joints. In the foot, there are over 30 ligaments which work to connect the 26 bones of the foot. The three main ligaments are plantar fascia ligament, plantar calcaneonavicular ligament, the calcaneocuboid ligament. These ligaments help to provide support for the arch of the foot. It helps to make the foot strong, to stand on, to walk. They help with balance. They help to support the weight of the body and absorb the shock of each movement. One of the main ligaments of the foot is the plantar fascia ligament. It is one of the longest ligaments of the foot and runs along the sole of the foot and extends from the heel to the toe and helps to form the arch of the foot. Tendons of the foot. A tendon is fibrous connective tissue that attaches muscle to bone. In the foot, there are many tendons found that help to attach muscles to the bone. Some of these are vital in working together to hold the bones of the foot in place to maintain the arch of the foot. One of the main tendons of the foot is the Achilles tendon. The Achilles tendon is also known as a calcaneal tendon. This heel cord is the thickest in the human body and gets its name from the Greek hero Achilles. The Achilles tendon runs down the back of the lower leg from the calf muscle and connects to the heel of the foot. It is such an important tendon, which allows us to jump, to walk, to run, to go up onto our toes. The muscles of the foot. There are 20 muscles in the foot 
that work together to give it shape, help with mobility and stability. The muscles of the foot can be divided into extrinsic and intrinsic muscles. Extrinsic muscles are the external muscles and intrinsic muscles are found within the foot. Nerves of the foot. There are five nerves of the foot. These run past the ankle and down into the foot. These five are the deep perineal nerve, the superficial perineal nerve, the tibial nerve, the serol nerve, and saphenous nerve. These five nerves all stem from two nerves that originate in the lumbar spine. That brings us to the end of the anatomy of the foot. Next, we will take a look at the importance of the feet in relation to dance.